With the LS positioner in place, um, I've now raised the router bit up to 5mm and locked the spindle. I've closed the one defence opening to accommodate um, the size of the router bit that we've got. Now it's just a matter of KISS calibrating the front of the router bit to the one defence. So it's just disengaging the clamp, moving it up, and just pushing it along. It doesn't have to be 100% there at the moment. Bringing that to the semi-closed position, and then turning the micro adjuster here in a um, clockwise direction, just clicking it until we don't have any play anymore, which is exactly there. Okay, that's down the fully locked position. Take the magnetic um, metric measure here and bring that to zero. Open the clamp again. Move this out to five millimeters. And there we have it, five by five. Okay, so five by five. Let's make a start. Now, I've got a, I've got a separate auxiliary switch here for safety reasons, so I can actually turn the switch on underneath the router. I've already set the speed at um, 13,000 RPM, so let's make a cut. As you could no doubt hear, there was quite a bit of quite a bit of tear out on that. But let's just check if we have five millimeters. And my five millimeter piece of hardboard here tells me that is exactly five millimeters. Okay, if we wanted to remove that tear out, for example, um, I think a one millimeter pass will take care of that nicely. And so it's just a matter of unlocking the spindle. And for our chart here, we want to go a half turn plus four on this. So a half turn goes that way. That's one half there, plus four. One, two, three, four. Okay, relock the spindle. Now that cutting depth is six millimeters, and that should take care of our tear out. but not quite. Okay, very, very nice. Okay, if we want to step this out another millimeter, bring the fence over. This is also a really easy procedure. Just unlock the clamp into the semi-closed position. Click backwards. This is now in an anti-clockwise direction. One millimeter. Lock the clamp. And make another cut. So we've just expanded our rabbit now to six by six millimeters. And that was a really, really easy procedure. Okay, uh, time for something heavier, I think. <laughs> 